Hello, this is Gwen with CraftyLadyDesigns.com. Thank you for joining me today. I have a couple um, junk journals that I just completed, and I wanted to do a flip through. Both of these are going to be offered on my consignment uh, shop, uh, the consignment shop I'm affiliated with, which is uh, CapturedOnPaper.com. Uh, the first one is, I just love it. I, it is just really different. This cover is a journal that you write in. You get in the package, three in a package, at the bookstore, at Walmart, at whatever. Um, and quite frankly, I forget where I got these. I think I did get these at either Hobby Lobby. I think I got these at Hobby Lobby. But I, I got three in a package. So this is the actual cover. I didn't do anything to the cover except add the... Uh, tape here and and the uh, embellishments this is a three signature uh i mean excuse me this is a one signature with the three hole pamphlet stitch now what i did you know the, the little journal was full of just uh lined paper for you to journal on as i say they they come three in a package so i removed and they were all sewn in by machine I removed the journaling pages, so which virtually just left me with the shell. With the, uh, I liked it. This says travel. Um, uh, let me see if I can see better on the back. Travel, money, bless, uh, create, inspire, smile, etc. All over. So I really, really liked it. Uh, I did add this uh, kind of tape. I mean, it's fabric, uh, not fabric. It's um, and it's not ribbon. Uh, it's more like of an upholstery piece, and this is absolutely out of the upholstery department at uh, Michael's. I secured it uh, with uh, coffee dyed seam binding. All the papers are coffee dyed. So let's go inside and take a look. Oh, I, it is so cute. Uh, I secured it with the seam binding with an eyelet on the front and an eyelet on the back, uh, which is the, this little, I always heard that was a sparrow's beak tie, and I used quite a bit, so when you open it up and you go inside, and as I say, it's only one signature. Now, I did absolutely nothing to the outside, but the inside I did. I covered the inside, let me take these out, I covered the inside with paper, this is the front, and this is the back. Now this was a pocket. And I think I, th these are something like the, uh, um, oh, one of these skeins, uh, mole skeins. Uh, and I closed up the pocket. I run this paper from the front, from the front and flipped it underneath this pocket. I, I closed it up simply because it was not handy. Um, to tear it half off and make a pocket would have torn up too much of the book. So I just sealed it down and then covered this with decorative paper as well. This is Prima Paper. Uh, I think it's the Tales of You and Me. I'm not sure. I'll, I'll look that up and post that at the bottom. So the front, I made a pocket. Uh, this is just with one of the little cut aparts that come with it. And then I filled it with some tags. This is a, um, a postcard. And just three little tags that I made. These are pattern paper. And I just made them and, and put an eyelet. I didn't put, uh, you know, I didn't embellish it with any uh, ribbons or anything. This is just another tag as well. And the story begins here. And I attached it. Just, it comes off. I attached it with a Timmy Holtz. Uh, one of those little miniature uh, paper clips, and I also stamped it with the corrugated uh, stamp that we've been using and that I made seen on the internet. This is just a stamped page. All this paper is coffee dye paper. This is uh, the calligraphy paper uh, that I get at Hobby Lobby. This is just a little tag with uh, a little envelope that I purchased. Uh, I did a lot of uh, stamping, and I did a lot of uh, uh, using templates. This is a, a, a 
doily that I folded over the top. I made the little I made the little uh, flower with a little uh, uh, string twined behind it. As a and this is a stamp. Um, the the uh, typewriter is just a typewriter, and I got a little teensy stamp that says friends. I got a little crooked, but I think it's cute. And of course, this wraps around the back, and this has the stamping, you know, for the um, uh, writing. So let's just flip through very quickly. I don't know that I need to go through uh, everything. You're certainly most of you, I think. Now, if we have some newbies, you have any questions, please feel free to email me at any time with any questions you may have. And this is just a stamp. It says, Art washes away the soul of dust, everyday life. And then there I did some stenciling, families, everything. I did a lot of stamping and stenciling. There again for some journaling, a stamp. Now I stamped on the uh, calligraphy paper, which is parchment, quite frankly. Uh, I stamped there. This is number one. This is the half page. Uh, then I made another pocket back here. This is a file card. I made the flower right there. And then I just put in some uh, some embellishment tags that you could journal on the back. This is just a little pocket, uh, or not a pocket. It's a little, and I, it's uh, put together. Oh, and I just made a little tag and put in there with a little flower with some pearls. Uh, I, this was a, a download, and I apologize. I forget. I I bought so many lately. I forget who they are. But it's just a little pocket. It's cute. I just stuck it in there. This is an envelope that uh, I bought as well online. Now, it's open here where you could put something in it, and I didn't, but you could. Here's the envelope. The flap is folded back and glued down over the back of the parchment paper. I rounded the corners. I put a little flower type thing there with a bow. And then I put inside the envelope just here's a, a map with there's a lot of nautical stuff in this uh, paper and uh, a little boy and then this is just a little tag you could write on the back now there again this is open if you want to hide or sneak something secret back in there <laughs> I think it would be fun so I put that in the envelope as I say I bought the envelope from Etsy uh, this is just the half paper I stamped. Uh, there again, here is a side little pocket that you can flip up. This is was designed by somebody online, and I do not recall the name. Uh, is it Margaret something? But it's her design, not certainly not mine. But it's cute. And here's some bathing suit. Here's just a little tag uh, that slides down. There's some more journaling. Here's some more calligraphy paper. I made the little um, clip. And this is kind of a ribbon and a, a little flower type thing. They're going to make this flower, and this is a pocket. Now, this is the center of our signature. And to cover up the uh, sewing, I added two of these uh, half papers down in there. You can't see it, but that's where the sewing comes together. But it also has just a little tag, and then there's a little flower I made there. So this is the back side, which uh, is virtually the same as the front. Uh, here's another pocket. Now this I made, this is just a tag that I made with a little embellishment on top. This is a stamp. This opens up, and this was just a piece of paper that I folded in thirds. I did some... Uh, uh, stamp, uh, not st stamping, but some work there. Here is a um, a doily, and this also made when I put it down, I made it down so you could have a tag in the back. Made the flower, uh, and it has some embellishment on the back. Just a half paper, calligraphy paper. The story begins here. Here's another one of those, sorry, one of those side pockets. Um, Opens up like so. I did stenciling. I've done a lot of stenciling. Now here's another. Now I bought this one, and it has a little tag. Now this has uh, book paper uh, and a lot of stitching on this tag. But I, I, 
I put it into hurry quite hurriedly, quite frankly, instead of just gluing on three sides to utilize the top as a pocket, I glued it down. Uh, more stenciling, stamping, stamping, just blank paper, journaling. This is a top uh, journaling here, just a top stuck, uh, uh, tuck spot, just a little piece of paper to write on with a little with a little stamp. Fluttering by to say hi. More calligraphy paper with a couple of stamps. And this says, wishing you all the things fabulous. This has also got lines and a, uh, that. And here's another pocket with uh, just three, with three tags. This is a little something for you. It says, to me, old age is always 10 years older than I am. I'm at an age when my back goes out more than I do. Well, I'm, I'm there. There's no question about that. So that fits down the pocket. So that's our little journal. That is our little journal made from a journal. I mean, the, the writing journals, as I say, I, you get, I, you know, I've gotten a lot of these. And they're, they're virtually, I think, the same size as the journals that fits in the Midori's. And I just wrap around the coffee dyed uh, ribbon or seam binding is what it is. And there it is. I think it is cute. I really do. Here's my uh, insignia. So there it is. That's the first one. And this, I'm going to offer this on capturedonpaper.com. Uh, now the second one I made, and I'm going to offer it as well. This is a whole different ball game. <laughs> this is a biggie. I'm going to have to move out, I think, for you to see. Then you'll see my mess. Um, I don't know if I can. Well. This is a big, this is a six by nine, six and a quarter by nine. This is a chipboard. I made the book. This is chipboard. It's covered with fabric. It's covered with material, duck material. I bought this at Hobby Lobby, about a yard of it. This is all glued on. This is all, um, it's got an inch and a half spine, I believe. Let me check. It has, no, an inch and three quarter spine. It's six and a half. Oh, wait a minute. I thought it was six and a quarter. It's six and a quarter by nine. Six and a quarter by nine with the, with the, now, this is not, the interior of this is not finished, just the outside. Um, these are to download, there again, I apologize. Uh, they are a download. And I, there again, I will post, uh, when I download this, this video to YouTube, down below, I will post who these uh, eBay, uh, not eBay, Etsy uh, stores were. This is metal. These are metal. These are Tim Holtz's new metal, big, large metal gears. Of course, flowers, uh, all kinds of flowers. Uh, I, you know, I got a whole bunch of them, so I don't know where all that came from. Here's a little gear down here with the little rose. And, of course, I got some scrappies back behind here. This was a download as well. And I put her on chipboard, and then I uh, put her on some kind of a turquoise blue to correlate with this blue and the bird. I always love it. And, of course, the flowers tie in as well. It is a five-hole pamphlet stitch. There are two, it's hard to see, two uh, signatures in the book. Uh, and as I say, it is all fabric. This is all fabric. And this is a stencil. I just stenciled on the back. Uh, it has, let me see, uh, 20, 40. It's, it has, let's see, it's got 15 and 5, 20, 40. It's got 80 pages virtually, more or less. 
So let's, oh, and, and this closure, I did this a little different. It's going to be kind of hard to see maybe. This is a lobster claw, huge, with a chain. And I just hooked it on here on the eyelets with, uh, with the chain and, and O-rings and whatever. Now, this, uh, boy, my lighting is not very good. I apologize. Uh, of course, this is uh, the uh, charms are attached to this holder up here, and there are all kinds of charms. There is um, scissors and crystals and clocks and a, on and on and on. Hearts. Here's a little blue crystal. Here's some white crystals. There's an owl and a key and uh, what is it called? Cameo. And a cameo, and here's a little clock. Here's a bicycle. Here's a little bird cage to tie in the bird theme. I'm sorry, my lighting is not very good today. I don't know why. So let's go in real quick. Now it is it is not finished. It is not completely embellished. But this just unhooks on the side like so. And of course that's our let's see it like that. That's our closure. Here's an eyelet right here. Um not finished. Not finished on the inside at all. I just covered the inside with one piece of paper. Uh, and then this is a stencil right here. This is all coffee dyed paper. All of it. Now I'm going to flip through and none of it's embellished. So it really, I if I can prop this up some way for you. It is in no way finished. But I wanted to show it because I'm going to finish it and I'm going to add it. Uh, I'm going to add it online. So it's just all coffee dyed paper, doily, calligraphy paper. Uh, this is all plain right now. This is a half sheet. Took a Martha Stewart uh, punch and punched all the half sheets. Uh, there again, it's all coffee dyed paper. I'm going to have, I'm going to do a lot of stamping on this. I'm going to add pockets, of course, and, and tags and various things. But it's the same way all the way through. But I just wanted to flip through. Of course, there's your Martha Stewart, whatever. These are all coffee dyed. A lot of, lot of uh, real estate in this. Um, paper coming out really good. I was just, this is the center. Now, I'm not going to close this up. I'm going to add some little uh, embellishments on the end of the uh, uh, twine or the stitching thread uh, and just leave them like that instead of closing it up. But you could. If you don't want to see them, you can cut them off and, and, and close this up on the side. Make a pocket like we do. And, uh, of course, there's the back side of the doily. This is the back. Now, this is an 8.5 by 11. This is legal size paper. I have eight and a half by eleven and, and, and eight and a half by fourteen. This is legal size paper. And the here's the front of it. Here's the first page right here. And here's the back of it because it, it goes through here. And I made a flap. This marble. Really pretty. So I'm either going to seal this up and make a pocket or just leave a flap where you could open it up and journal. There's three of them in here. And then there again, this is just paper that I am going to, as I say, stamp on and uh, embellish and make some pockets. Here again is another legal size page uh, that, uh, that I made a tag on. Here's another Martha Stewart. The corner kind of fell off. I apologize. I wasn't going to tear the book up. Another legal size pad, and then there again, that's your first signature. Uh, let's see, there's 35. Yeah, there's 40 pages, so there's 80 front and back. Let's see, 40. Yeah. There's uh, about 80 pages total. Here's your, uh, now this is exactly the same. Here's the front of your legal size paper. A doily, the calligraphy paper. These are going to be embellished. Here's your half page. This is a half page. This took a page and 
fold it in half like I did these and then just cut it in half. Uh, here's the legal size again and the on and on and on. So it's virtually the same and it's not finished, but it will be. Now when it is finished, I think I'll come back. There's another legal size. Uh, come back and do, uh, I, I didn't do, I'm not going to do anything on the back because I put uh, this down here. But on the front, I am, because this is up here, so I'm going to put a, a pocket on the front with some tags and various things. So, there it is. I just, it's big. It's quite large, um, as you can see. And this, oh, my lobster claws getting the, well, I was going to put, like I always do, the ribbon. And I had these, and I thought, with with all the metal over here and all the metal with the gears and whatever that this would be cool so i like i could have hung some charms on here but i tell you quite frankly i think we have enough charms over here that i didn't add any um and of course i just put a few little sprigs back there put a little rose inside that gear there's your gears there are three big gears these are these are Tim Holtz's new ones, and these are I am Rose's flowers, uh, the small buds, uh, and this one. This one is not. I think I got this at Hobby Lobby, and that at Hobby Lobby. But the little baby roses, there are are I am roses as well. So there it is, my two new junk journals. They are really different, aren't they? <laughs> This was fun. I'm going to make a couple more of these. Uh, and I'm going to finish this. And I think uh, I'm not going to put this on the consignment shop until I finish the interior. Then I think I'll come back and do a, a quick flip through of the interior. So you can see it if you might have any interest in it. This one I'm going to put up because it's finished and it's ready to go. So I thank you for joining me today. If you have any questions, please email me at any time at gcaststeel at comcast.net. I have a Ustream program twice a month. And then my Crafty Lady, Crafty Lady, of course, uh, YouTube here that I have as well. So any questions, please do email me if you have any interest. And then I have several other uh, journals on the consignment uh, shop. Uh, CapturedOnPaper.com, uh, and uh, be more than happy to work with you. Uh, so that's all I have today, and as I say, have a great rest of your week, and thanks for joining me, and I will talk to you later. Thank you. Bye-bye.